many people have complained that I've used the same police games over and over to share. However, in today's video, I will be sharing a few new games. And if you stick to the end of this video, you will have an extra game shared with just you. That game is one of the better ones I have possibly ever seen on this platform but on place number five we have berkeley county berkeley county just had some huge updates to their game and i really love berkeley county because of how good it looks this game is a game that really focuses on the quality side of perspective and i'm serious when i say that the police cars are top notch the els is top notch the els in this game is one of my favorite els on all of roblox the guns are really fun to play around with and there's just so many cool features in this game that i love however many people have actually complained about their newest update being a little bit too much like ERLC, which I don't really understand why, because I don't really see too much of ERLC in this update. However, maybe, maybe that's true. So what Berkeley County has is kind of unique to other games. So in some of these police teams, which you can find down here, you actually need to have arrested a particular amount of people in this team. So let's say you want to go on the sheriff's team, then you might have to arrest a few people, however many you now need to arrest, and then you're actually able to join this team. And the same goes for Concord State Police. And this one is even harder to get inside. So, if you really want to play on these teams, start on by playing on the normal police team. Go around, arrest some people, try to roleplay as well. And then, you will be able to play those teams. In Berkeley County, there's a lot of different gear and uniforms you can choose from. So, let's say you want a beautiful Class A uniform, you just equip it. And you might want a uh, traffic vest on that maybe you add that onto you and uh, obviously that removed the class a uniform and added the class c one instead but it's cool um you probably want the duty belt maybe bulletproof vest it's gonna look weird with my vest right now i have on already you can add a cover baseball cap and since i'm already too rich for this <laughs> just kidding well since i have these amazingly large hats on me i cannot fit another hat that's just obvious and yes i even forgot to mention the body camera one of the coolest coolest gears you can possibly put on in this game then you head here to the equipment and vehicles to spawn equipment and vehicles obviously browse equipment by holding e and in here you see there's just a lot of different stuff there is one glock 17 which is free and the rest of the weapons they do cost unless we're talking about some of the gear then like flares traffic cones uh, clipboards flashlights all that kind of stuff is free however if you want let's say the mp5 then you're gonna have to purchase it and now you own an mp5 and yes this game you can either be in first person or you can be in third person and i love that kind of style so in the first person you see it looks quite smooth and if we shoot a bit you see there's some recoil and stuff and then when you reload there's this awesome reloading animation i love it and if we head and look outside of it, we're gonna see what this looks like. And if we reload, yeah, it looks quite similar, not the best, but it looks good. So if you hold F, you're gonna browse the vehicles. And there's a lot of vehicles in here. I thought I, I thought I owned all of them, but maybe that was on the sheriff's team. I don't know. Well, here you got the police vehicles you can choose from. And yes, yeah, some of these require, let's say, game, uh, game passes such as SWAT. And all that kind of stuff this one for example i think this is uh oh yeah unmarked game pass for this one so yeah this is one of my most favorite roleplay games on roblox let's avoid the fact that i spawned in yale i honestly don't know what i did but i have probably done some bad stuff in this game well we can start off anyways directly here so this game is called emergency hamburg and it's one heck of a realistic and cool roleplay game. So you can first of all notice my walk animations, run animations, they're quite nice. They are really smooth. The doors do open quite smoothly in this game and you can hear that I'm really running out of stamina by my breathing. <laughs> However, I told you guys in the beginning of this video that you complained a lot over me using the same roleplay games over and over again. However, this time I'm going for a little bit of themes. I don't want everything to be based in the United States. So today we are in, yeah, Germany. And don't worry, I will showcase the police team in just a minute and 32 seconds. So let me explain how this works. So, if you want to find a police station, you're simply gonna press police station here. 
and you're gonna get a waypoint wherever my waypoint now is so you should see this little green dot or something with a little arrow underneath somewhere around the map and that's where the police station is located and also one really cool feature is that when you spawn outside of the prison your vehicle is automatically there so that's just purely amazing and yes this game has quite some speed cameras so be careful of that so this right here is the police station so now quite literally we're just gonna head inside and do whatever we need to do so we're gonna head on the police shift we can choose whatever type of shift we want to do so patrol police the normal police you know then we got traffic police 800 xp for this one so if you have 800 xp then this is the go to undercover police yep this is a game pass but a cool one sck is also a game pass so that's basically equivalent to the um, normal swat i would say so we're gonna start a shift and there we go so we got a phone we got a flashlight we got a baton we got some handcuffs and we got a little uh, stop sign or halt so in german that's basically well yeah halt stop <laughs> so in here in a police locker room you can actually equip the glock 17 you can equip the radar gun you can equip the police tape you can equip some stop sticks and also an mp5 however you need 1000 xp so that's quite the cool stuff there and yes the the weapons are really nice in this game i really like them they might not be good in first person, but they look a lot better than many, many other games in terms of third person guns. So yeah, here's where we're gonna spawn our vehicle. There is not quite a big selection here, but there is a few cars. And most of them you actually need to wait a little time before even being able to spawn. So you see, XP required 1300 XP. So the only one I can spawn at the moment is the VW Passat and uh, you basically press unlock vehicle and spawn vehicle and it's gonna spawn out here. So yeah, that's quite amazing. And yes, since it's based in Germany, the liveries are quite different and that's what I like. To turn on your uh, lights and sirens, you basically press F and here you got, uh, not sirens, I was kidding, yes lights. But the, the lights you press on X, uh, F I mean, in order to turn on so there is this one thing i have no idea why it's even in this game and that is the fact that when you try to turn around like this it automatically forces you to go back so you get in front like this however we can turn our sirens on if you want to now quite cool and also if you press g like this you will see that these uh yellow lights also start lighting up so that traffic behind knows that something is going on so that's pretty cool do not forget that in the left hand of the screen you can actually see uh, if something is being robbed or you got a call or something that's where everything shows up so that's super cool are you a fan of gta 5 then this is the best game for you once you go into the police team in society dev access you will be met with this so you will have to choose everything that you want to have on your body you can choose body cameras and everything like it you can choose handgun holsters, but you need to actually get the belts first for that. So let's say you add the light duty belt, then go back to handgun holsters and choose drop leg holster. You're going to get that onto you. Then there are undershirts slash vests, medium tactical vest, heavy tactical vest, plate carrier. So if you want just a plate carrier, then that's cool. In here you can find all the uniforms. So let's say you want the class C one, you choose that. So that's awesome. And once you spawn in, you actually got the Glock 19 in your inventory already. But if you want to get a better weapon, head to this little guy here. Go on to him, click on him, and you will get uh, a few options here. Non-lethal weapons or lethal weapons. So if you choose lethal weapons, you're actually going to find a little bit extra. So the AR-15 and the hk416 oh you must be ranked corporal to get this weapon this is a new feature by the way <laughs> so here we got the ar-15 quite a nice gun here we got the glock 19 also really nice so once you feel like you're done with your uniform and everything you head out here in this store and you spawn your vehicle there are two different police teams at the moment which is the los santos police department which i'm on and los santos county sheriff's office which is the one over here and there's actually a few more teams being added on so san andreas highway patrol los santos fire department and department of transportation the fire department is is being worked on right now i heard news from the owner 
So that's super cool. Here you basically choose whatever police car you would like. So let's say you would want the Crown Vic. You spawn it in. I'm not sure if you can modify it too much right now. But it's quite cool. And this game has quite a different um, UI, if you understand. So by pressing 1 on your keyboard, your lights turn on. By pressing 2, you start blinking to the left. By pressing 3, you start blinking to the right. By pressing 4, you basically put on both blinkers. By pressing 5, you turn on the lights. And if you press 5 again, you turn them off. And honestly, that's basically it for this police car right here. So if we want to head out here, you basically just press 3 to start, start the blinkers. And if you get a call, which you should see up here in the radio, then you basically just press 5. So your light starts, then you press R, T, or G to start your sirens. Super cool game. You should definitely check this out. And I think sometimes they make this game free so more players can play it. However, currently I think it's paid to play. <laughs> so on the second place, I'm gonna have to include Greenville. And you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I'm not gonna include Eros in, in this video because I've done it too many times and I know everybody already loves ERLC. So in Greenville, there is a few different police teams. However, the Wisconsin State Patrol didn't work for me now because the building wasn't here for me for some reason. But in this game, you need to have a game pass called Public Services in order to actually join one of the police teams. However, once you're on, you're gonna understand why. Because it's so cool. So in here, you can choose whatever rank you want. So if you want to be the captain, you press captain, class A, whatever. You choose whatever you think looks the best. And you see, it's quite nice. You can add a hat like this oh yes finally got rid of those accessories up there <laughs> and in this game you actually can't just head to a car spawner and spawn a car that's not how it works here in this game you actually have to buy in the car spawn as a civilian or something your vehicle because you see in my inventory right now I have quite uh, quite some vehicles and if we spawn this in for example I have already bought this at the car dealership and there is no car spawner uh, selection. So in this game, the controls are also very different. You press J to actually turn on the spotlight like this. So there are two different ways you can turn on your light switch. So one is by hitting down here and pressing either one, two, or three, or by pressing F one, two, or three. So yeah, that this is cool. So if you want it to go uh, a little bit faster with you having to move your mouse, then you pr simply press F. If you want to just simply press 3 directly, you press here. Yeah. You can also turn on your whale down here. And if you don't want to do that, you can press R. T, I think, for Yelp. Yes. And for Y, you get the T3 siren, which is basically, I would say, uh, the version of the priority uh, siren. Here we got some more features, like turning on uh, a few extra lights. Not sure exactly how all of these lights work, but they do look good, so I like it. Well, Greenville is definitely one of the cooler games out there. It has so many cool private servers you can play on. However, you actually need to uh, join up their Discord and go on uh, and get us accepted in them. And then you need to do a lot of things before actually being able to play on private servers. You got to be kidding me. Oh, apparently, I'm wanted, so I'm going to have to wait five minutes. This is Maple County, one of the better games out there. In my opinion, the first one on this list. And the extra game I will be showing you is actually very special. You're gonna have to stick to the end in order to see what I mean. Maple County also has a huge selection of good equipment, uniforms, and vehicles. This game is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, police roleplay game on Roblox. You have two police teams, a sheriff's team, and a normal police department. And both the teams are amazing. There is quite some nice tools as well. And you can also book people in to sit in Yale. Maple County is super realistic. And has some of the coolest features you can find in a game. I'm not going to disclose too much information about the extra game I'm going to show you here. Because it's a very special game. However, I will be sharing some things with you. So you can actually get a little bit hyped for it.
that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next vid. Bye.